Meanwhile, cash prizes were awarded to winners of the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports logo competition. This latest venture of the ministry is part of an overall thrust to enhance its image and increase visibility. Ryan O'Brien from the Information Unit filed this report. This of a logo competition organized by the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports to enhance its image were presented with their prizes during a ceremony held at the ministry's conference room recently. In the last few months, the ministry has embarked on a number of initiatives to increase its functioning and public image. It is the ministry's hope that the logo will create a refreshing new look to help connect with the youth, support and align with the youth of the nation, and give the ministry an image that young people can identify with. Minister responsible for Youth Development and Sports, the Honorable Edmund Esther was on hand for the presentation. Whilst we continue to use the coat of arms for all government agencies, we felt it necessary to brand the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports. So against this backdrop, we threw out that challenge that you took, you know, with open arms. And we are told that about 70 individuals on island responded to the challenge. And um, as far as I'm told, well, I should try to say as far as I can see, that it's a beautiful logo. And, and I'm sure the whole of St. Lucia will embrace it. Stuart Cauldron emerged winner of the competition and received the cash prize of $1,000 easy dollars. Second prize went to Neil John, who was presented with 500 easy dollars, while Brandon Scott was in third place and received 250 easy dollars for his submission. From the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports, I'm Ryan O'Brien.